Hey, this is San from Fun on Learn. In this video, we are going to look at the new features of uh, Ubuntu 20 LTS on Brief and then how Ubuntu 20 LTS can be made to look like a Windows 10 operating system. So let's get on to the video. So what's new in uh, Ubuntu 20 LTS? It comes with a new uh, advanced Linux kernel 5.4. It has a faster boot speed. It has an uh, extraordinary appearance. It has a new uh, Yaro theme and it, ha it comes with a uh, stock dark theme and it also supports a native fractional scaling. You know, that's something interesting that we haven't seen in uh, Ubuntu or even Windows. And it also comes with a uh, new Genome uh, 3.6 and there is a lot more. So let's quickly jump onto the installation of uh, Ubuntu 20. Uh, here we are going to do the uh, Ubuntu installation or uh, using a uh, bootable USB. I have set up an VM first, which is of uh, 30 gigabyte hard drive, 2 GB RAM, and then dual core processor. Let's see how the installation goes uh, with this let, uh, set of low configuration, and let's see Ubuntu 20 can handle it. The new Ubuntu 20 LTS comes with an uh, pre-installed uh, NVIDIA drivers and uh, it offers minimal installation and normal installation. I, I would prefer to go with normal installation that it comes with office softwares, games, media players, um, pretty much the basic softwares, everything we, uh, we need. So clicking on continue and we'll begin with the installation. So the next option is the installation type. Over here we have two options, erase disk and install Ubuntu and uh, the next option is something else but I would recommend not to uh, click erase uh, disk and uh, install Ubuntu uh, because it also has two options it has an advanced feature in it like uh, it uses the LVM a uh, new Ubuntu installation and it also has a new file system uh, ZFS I will go with the traditional way of uh, creating a partition and everything but if you're going to install uh, your Ubuntu on uh, top of Windows uh, operating system like you want to replace windows or else you want to go along with windows if you want to go along with windows and you don't want to disturb your uh, ubuntu installation and uh, windows installation i would recommend you to go with uh, zfs and uh, if you have a if you're going to install and if you're going to install ubuntu on a different partition or else like we need to create a new partition manage any existing partition we are going to select the something else option and over here we will be displayed with a list of uh, drives so over here since it's a fresh hard drive space I'm going to click on new partition table and the plus icon on the left uh, will uh, you know get the menu for creating partition in the mount point I'm going to select uh, slash as a root and then I'm just going to click on uh, install now by selecting the partition that we made to make that uh, Ubuntu 20 you know the uh, genome version as an uh, Windows 10 look I'm going to switch on uh, to the Ubuntu DDE that is the Ubuntu deep in desktop environment so let's quickly look on to the uh, settings of Ubuntu let's jump on to the uh, appearance first and let's see the themes available so we have here light standard and a dark theme so we also have an option to resize the icons. Um, it's all it's a slider base, so that seems uh, pretty interesting. And let's look at the display of the uh, Ubuntu, where we are going to see the uh, fractional scaling. So we have the option of uh, resolution. I know you can change the resolutions over here based on the uh, display of your monitor. And then we have the refresh rate uh, that's based upon your monitor. And also we have the uh, fractional scaling over here. So to enable the Ubuntu DDE, we have to enter the instructions in the terminal menu by adding the repository and then getting the sudo update and then install the Ubuntu DDE. All these instructions you can find in the description box below and also you can find the detailed descriptions, the screenshots and the link for this video again in my blog in the description box below. Over here we have to select the light DM as the genome version and then click on OK. Once the installation is done we have to restart the machine and then let's look at the Ubuntu DDE. So now we have the brand new login screen since this is an VM like it will be prompting for an effect mode or normal mode and then we have the beautiful uh, desktop loaded we have the uh, window style start menu so we have the uh, personalization so wi-fi connectivity 
themes it supports a lot of themes and it supports a lot of icons ubuntu dd i personally really like the uh, ubuntu dd so let's quickly look on to my uh, computer configuration as i said it's a vm and also i'm running my old laptop which has an i5 and sec second gen with 4gb ram so that also runs flawlessly so that's it for this video guys thank you so much if you like this video give a thumbs up if not let me know your comments below subscribe to the channel there are more exciting videos coming up.